Hey everyone, I thought I'd run you through a bit of a stretching routine uh, that you can do at home. So a lot of the stretches I do uh, mainly for the le legs, especially because uh, most people get really tight uh, hammies, they get tight glutes and also in the hip flexors as well. So I'm going to go through a few things, uh, most of the stuff we do in the class, but some of the stuff I'm going to do a, a few extra things as well. Alright, so for the first stretch to begin with, what you do is you just fold one leg in and then you're going to reach out for the extended leg. Okay, when you're doing this, try to get the center line of your body positioned over that knee and then you're reaching for your toes. What I tell people is everyone's different levels of flexibility. If you can't reach your toes, just hold onto your ankles or hold onto your feet. Okay. Right? Usually hold the stretches for about 10 seconds and they're best done at the end of the workouts. And you change over, so folding one leg in, extending out the other leg and then positioning the center line of your belly button to the knee and then reaching out for the extended leg. Good. So the next stretch we're going to work is a good one for the glutes. All right, it's a good one for targeting the glutes, especially if you're doing a lot of kicks in the session. So you're going to bring uh, both feet out, and you're going to bring your left foot over your right foot. Okay, so you've got one knee crossing the other, over the other one. You're going to position the back of your elbow on the opposite side of your knee. If you can't, don't have the flexibility to do that. What you can do is just hold on to here, stretching all the way back, and then where you should be feeling it is in this area here and then you're holding that for five seconds or 10 seconds. And then we change over, we do the other side. Another good stretch that you can work for the hamstrings and the glutes as well is uh, lying onto your back and you're gonna cross one leg over, okay? Once you cross one leg over, you're gonna feed one hand through the hole here and you're gonna feed the other hand through the opposite side, holding onto your knees and then pulling the knees towards your chest. And then when you pull it towards your chest, where you should be feeling it is in your hamstring and then also your glute as well. Okay, don't pull too hard to the point where it's uncomfortable, just pulling it to the point where you feel a gentle stretch in the hamstring and also the glute as well. And hold that for about 10 seconds. Uh, another good stretch that you can work for the groin is one that we do in the classes. So you bring your feet together. Okay. Everyone's going to be all different levels of flexibility. So ideally what you want to be doing is holding onto your feet and then pushing your knees to the floor. So the more flexible you are, the deeper you can push your knees to the floor. All right? Some people only might be able to go to here, but if you can, just go nice and deep. Okay, Sitting into it, and where you should be feeling it is a deep stretch right into your groin. And then hold that for about 5-10 seconds. And then release. Another good stretch that you can work for your groin is you want to be up on all fours, okay? It's a bit of, it looks a bit strange, but don't worry, it, it, it really targets the groin area. You're spreading your knees out nice and wide and you're sitting your hips back into it, okay? Depending on how flexible you are will depend on how far or how deep you can go back. So this is your start position and then you're sitting back, okay? Where you should be feeling it is right in your groin area. So don't hold it to the point where it's uncomfortable, just hold it to the point where you do feel that stretch. Usually I hold it for about 10 seconds and then release. All right, one of the stretches that you can work for your hamstrings is extending both feet out and then touching your toes. So everyone's gonna be all different levels of flexibility. Some people might only be able to go to there. Some people physically might be able to touch their toes. A good way to start this stretch is start with your knees bent to begin with, hold onto your toes and then ex ex slowly extend your feet out until you can feel your t uh, knees touch the floor. Once you can feel your knees touch the floor, you should be feeling a stretch right in the back of your hamstrings there. And then once again, holding that for about 10 seconds. Time. The next stretch that we're gonna do is for the hip flexors. So the hip flexors is uh, this joint right in here. So it's a, we use it a lot, especially when we're using our kicks and our push kicks. So we start off by getting into lunge position. Okay? So I'm gonna be stretching out that back hip flexor here. What I'm doing now with my body, uh, with my legs now, is I'm sitting forward into it. So I should be feeling it right there. For an even deeper stretch, what I do is interlock my fingers together and then reach up and then I'm feeling in that hip flexor there. And then stretching nice and deep, holding it for 10 seconds, and then release. The next stretch we're gonna work is for the hip flexor and then also for the quadricep as well. 
So what you're going to need is you're going to need to find a wall. All right? So you're going to place your shin completely up against the wall, and then the other foot is going to come out here. All right? Sitting back, and then where you should be feeling it is in that quadricep there. All right? Don't overdo this one because you don't want to injure yourself stretching. Just do it to the point where you feel a gentle stretch, but you're still comfortable in doing it as well. And then hold that for about 10 seconds and then change over. Okay, the next one is a, is a different variation of stre uh, stretching that quad as well. So find yourself a, a wall so you can stay nice and balanced. You're grabbing the front of your foot and then just pulling that foot in towards your bottom. All right? Where you should be feeling it is in that front quadricep area. Staying up nice and straight. Once again, holding that for 10 seconds. Another variation that you can do for stretching the hamstring is uh, putting both, having feet together and then putting both hands standing on top of your heels, okay? What you're gonna be doing now is that you're gonna be extending out and then where you should be feeling it when you're pulling that extension out in the back of your hamstrings, okay? That for 10 seconds and then back up.